Right, so if you didn't know by now, um, the big announcement for the game that was going to be announced today, uh, Friday the 27th, was in fact PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royal, um, which is the title fight rumoured Super Smash Bros. style game from Sony. Um, lo uh, lots and lots of um, videos knocking around on YouTube, loads of articles all over the gaming websites. Um, it's, everyone's talking about it really, everyone has their own views on it, some people are liking it, some people are, are not liking it, saying it's too much like a Super Smash Bros. ripoff. Um, I just thought I'd give my vi uh, do a video now giving you my thoughts on that. So what do we know so far? We've only had six characters announced so far, and that's Kratos, Parappa the Rapper, Sly Cooper, Colonel Raddock from Killzone, Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal, and Fat Princess. And instantly you're gonna you're probably thinking well what a random a random bunch of characters to announce announce with the game you've got you've got big Sony ambassadors like Nathan Drake Sackboy Jack and Daxter Ratchet and Clank but they've chosen to choose people like Fat Princess Colonel Raddock and Parappa the Rapper to show first and I think that's to entice you in to kind of get you think on if they've if they've announced these people so early, who else must they have? Obviously, we're going to be having the big names. They're, they're, there's no doubt they're going to be in this game. But um, I do think we're going to have a few surprises in there. It's also been announced that there's going to be some third-party superstars in there. I don't know why I said superstars then, but <laughs> there's going to be some third-party characters in. Um, so I'm, probably, I'm thinking maybe Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Riku maybe as well. Um, Spyro and Crash Bandicoot may they may come under third party because they've although they started off on PlayStation, they've gone into multi platform, haven't they? So back in the day they their games were on like the GameCube and the Xbox, the original. Um it's been a few this gen generation Spyro games, so uh I do think Spyro and Crash Bandicoot might be in there. Um, I'm, I really would like to see Sora or Rico, anyone from Kingdom Hearts really, because I do love the Keyblade, so it'd be kind of cool to use that as a weapon. Um, the other news that we know so far is each character is going to have their own special moves. So similar to on Super Smash Bros. Brawl, when you collect the, um, the floating little orb that comes, it's like a special move thing. So when you get that, you get your special like finisher, so to say. So all the characters will have one of those. Um, there's going to be themed environments. If you've watched a few of the videos so far, you know um, they kind of mix two worlds of PlayStation games into one um, environment. So one of them it was like a little big planet um, style level, but then it morphs into a, I think it was Buzz, you know, the um, the quiz game Buzz. So the um, Buzz himself actually pops up. So that'll be quite interesting to see. I like themed moving environments. Um, the music is also going to be a mashup of famous themes that we know, so obviously that'll probably tie in with the environment. So again, that'll be good to see. Um, it's being developed by Superbot Entertainment, which is Sony's newest um, first-party developer. Um, I think it's Californian-based as well, so this is one of their first games. So it's going to be interesting to see how they pull this off. And it's coming out winter this year, so 2012, so, which is quite a surprise to some people. Um, but I'm like I'm really looking forward to it. There's been a lot of negativity actually saying that this is too much like Super Smash Brothers, but I don't think that's a problem because okay, it is a four player um fighter, you've got all the scores down at the bottom of the screen just like on Super Smash Brothers. You hit a character, they fly up into the sky just like on Super Smash Brothers, but still why why so why shouldn't Sony do this? They've got the characters for it and it's not like um, Nintendo don't own the the right to make a four player fighting game they don't own that so there's other stars you've got like Marvel vs Capcom you've got um, even Sega they well also for racing games people could be saying that games like Little Big Planet Racing which is due out soon um, in the future and Mod Nation Racers why aren't they ripoffs of Mario Kart or or Sega All Stars Racing that was released um, a couple of years ago why isn't that a ripoff of Mario Kart but um I do think Sony's going to do well on this, and and it's not going to stop me looking forward to Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U at all. I'm really, I'll still look forward to that because I love the series. This is just going to be a nice break. It gives us a chance to play as all these different characters, and 
there's no there's no competition competition between the games for me. I'm really looking forward to um, both, so the future Super Smash and this one. So I'm just really excited to see it. I'd love to see. There's obviously big characters they've still got to announce. So Nathan Drake is going to be in it. It's obvious. Sackboy is going to be in it. Jack and Daxter will be in it. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Um, there's going to be loads more. But um, that's what I'm. I'm really excited to see this game. Um, but one thing that gets me worried just one thing is why are Sony announcing these games when E3 <clears throat> is less than two months away they've announced the new God of War Ascension game and now this in the space of a week so why are they doing this if we had waited till E3 that was two big announcements they could have done so either they've got stuff ready to announce or they've had too much to announce maybe and they're doing it now or they're announcing them early so they can focus on gameplay and a lot more of that side of it at A3 which that'll be alright but it'll take a bit of the shine off E3 E3 is usually good for big surprises and games you weren't expecting so um, Sony do do things strangely but um, I've still got faith in them I do think they're gonna pull off a good E3 still but um, I'm to wrap it up though but I'm really happy I'm really happy they've announced this game um, I'm really excited for it. I like I like all the Sony characters. So I'm really excited to have a few fights on this. It looks really good. It looks really fun game. There's a few videos out already for it, so just check those out. And that's it for this video, really. So leave your comments what you think of the what you think of the game down below, and I will see you in my next video.